got to eat something. I'm so hungry. Let me zip up my jacket because like it's so cold right now. And I heard Beijing is so cold. So I came prepared. I'm gonna be taking you guys along with me to Beijing. I'm going to renew my passport. I want to show you guys the process. At first, I didn't want to vlog, but I got at the airport and I changed my mind. And I'm like, why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Why won't you vlog? I mean, yeah, it's my first time in Beijing. It's a new thing for me. I'm also excited, but I'm going there for like one thing. And I'm actually coming back today. So at first, I didn't want to vlog, but I ended up changing my mind because I can always change my mind because why not, right? So yeah, that's how it's gonna go. I'm gonna go to Beijing and come back the same day. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm going today, I'm coming back today. So yeah, it's gonna be a very long trip, I'm guessing. Cause like, I'm already feeling exhausted. I literally woke up so early, guys, very early. So yeah, I can't wait to sleep in the plane. <laughs> yeah, I just can't wait to doze off. So yeah, this is how we are just here waiting and it's almost time to board also i want to try i don't know if i will have enough time to try out some beijing you know food just go around beijing street gosh like at this moment i'm actually regretting why did i book going and coming back same day like i would have actually slept and you know go around Chengdu. but i'm hoping to go back there again and explore beijing what am i saying beijing yeah i'm hoping to try some food in beijing but i don't know if i'll have enough time to actually um go around in the streets of beijing and eat some food so i'm like at this moment i'm actually regretting why i booked going and coming back same day to change so i'm like regretting but like i just hope i will have enough time to to go around and you know try some things and eat some good food in Chen in beijing that's how i'm feeling right now i just hope i will have enough time to do this stuff that i want to do renew my passport and also have enough time to go around and eat some food what's the popular food in beijing though I heard it's like duck, cow yeah, cow yeah. It's like roasted duck, duck, yeah, roasted duck. And I don't even eat duck, and I, I, a whole challenge. I don't even eat duck at all. But I heard um, Chen, Beijing duck is so famous and delicious. So I'm actually try that as we are trying new things. Just try that. So yeah, see you guys, catch you guys later. Okay, it's almost time to board. So yeah. I forgot to eat something. I'm so hungry. I feel oh I love these nails actually. These nails are so cute. And I shouldn't have like mixed it. It's like brown. It's giving fall. It's giving fall for nails. A brownish color. Yeah. I will tell you all my love. Your attitude is trace on the top file. The sky is filled away the stars. Are funny. Guys, I didn't even realize how sunny it is until we took off. And I just realized that it's typically a sunny day. Today, like the sun is like out, out, like the sun is out. And I love sunny days. And I'm actually enjoying seeing the view. Have an amazing day today for real, like it's 
gonna be stressful, it's gonna, it's gonna be stressful, but it's definitely gonna be worth it. I'm gonna have a good day. I'm gonna have a good day, guys. Catch you guys when I get to Beijing. Bye. Hey guys, so I just got to Beijing right now. And tell me why Beijing weather is just so cool. Like it's so like it's so sunny actually. Like tell me why Beijing weather. My friend told me to you know wear enough clothes, cover up, thanks to that, but like Beijing is actually hotter than Chengdu right now. Like the weather is so good. I actually like this weather. Hey guys, so I just finished paying for the application fee and I'm going to the embassy right now. I'm waiting for the taxi. But I just wanna say that today weather is looking like summer like today weather is looking like summer and how how it's, it's freaking hot do you know i wore like two clothes i wore like three and i had to remove one one is in my bag right now because of how hot it is in china in beijing and i'm so shocked because it's already so cold in Be in in chengdu it's already so cold in Be why am I, why do I keep misplacing this Chengdu Beijing word? It's already so cold right now in Chengdu. And um, comparing Chengdu weather, it was supposed to be that Beijing should be colder right now than Chengdu. And I just got here and I'm feeling so hot. Like I'm feeling so hot. Okay, I got a taxi. Oh, Didi, it's here already like today is feeling like summer guys guys oh my god i can't believe it. you guys like i'm so stressed i just finished doing my passport guys i just finished doing my passport and i couldn't vlog about it because like i was like busy i was like so busy even my battery was so low and i had to save up because i'm in a different city finally done so i got like this power bank and i'm looking for where i can eat i really thought that i can see do you know what i'm even interested in eating it's like i'm actually interested in eating street food which i'm not finding where i am i'm actually more interested in eating street food than western food and I can't find street food, guys. Hey, guys. I feel so disappointed at myself. Because the plan was to eat street food. Beijing street food. But now, I'm going back to Chengdu right now. Not right now, like today. And um, I didn't find... Uh, where they sell street food? Like I didn't find where they sell local street food. I literally was searching and uh, because I don't have enough time, I came to this place that one of the one of the foreigners that I met at the embassy, you know, suggested that I go. So I got to the it's a Times Square or what? It's like a mall. It's into this place called Taiguli. It's very similar to Chengdu, Taiguri. They have Western food, Chinese food. But I want to eat street Beijing food. I, I, I'm just very disappointed at myself because I said I wanted to try new thing. I wanted to try new thing. And I ended up in a restaurant that I have been to in Chengdu a couple of times. Like this place is called Blue Flog. Um, yeah, it's like the same restaurant that I would normally go in Chengdu that I just ended up in because at this moment I was like starving guys. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. And guys, let me tell you, one of the one of the people or oh, the man, how do how do I put this? So I went I got to the embassy, yeah. So what do I call this person? Well, he's in charge of handling foreigners' um, passports. So when I came in, he was like, Oh, young lady, I'm eating. Have you eaten? 
come join me. I'm eating jello fries. Have you had jello fries ever since you came to China? I'm like, in my mind, I was like, I eat jello fries almost every time. I probably eat jello fries more than you do. Shishani. Oh, my drink is here. Can you give me a straw? Shigwa. Oh, thanks. So, yeah, I got my drink. This is why I normally drink like this milkshake is heaven. It tastes good, guys. So, yeah, he offered me. He offered lunch to me. He wanted me to eat with him. And that doesn't make sense, yeah. So I said, thank you, thank you, sir. I'm not hungry. But deep down, I was starving, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Deep down, I was starving. But I'm like, I had to, you know. I'm like, thank you. I'm not hungry. You know, I'm here for something. I'm here to focus and do something. Thank you. So, yeah. So yeah, I was, like I said, I was searching for places to eat, street food, I couldn't find one. And I ended up at the Blue Frog that I normally go to in Chengdu. I'm so disappointed at myself, I was like, why did I end up here? I would have actually like tried something new. Like maybe even if, it, even if it's gonna be a Western restaurant, let it be like something new. It was like, so yeah, I ordered, um, what did I order? Spaghetti and a uh, milkshake. That's what I ordered. A milkshake and a spaghetti. And just leave me at this point. Let me just eat my food and go back to Chengdu. Because, like, I'm exhausted, guys. Freaking exhausted. This milkshake never disappoints. So good guys so full right now guys i am so full right now i don't even know if i can walk i'm even feeling sleepy like this nails Guys, hi guys, I'm not gonna lie, vlogging is not for the week, it's not for the week at all, like, you can literally forget that you're vlogging, but yeah, so I'm back, I'm back in Chengdu and I came back last night, like I told you, guys, I forgot, I forgot to actually vlog when what even happened how did i just stop vlogging and i found myself in chandu without showing you guys when i was going back without showing you guys nothing i was so exhausted you guys i'm not gonna lie yesterday was so stressful for me i was like so exhausted i couldn't even vlog when i was going back to Ch chandu because of how exhausted i felt i was so tired and I didn't it didn't even come to my mind to vlog i remember feeling so sleepy at the airport and i almost slept off waiting i almost slept off but i first of all after doing my visa renewal my passport renewal i went to the city center you know took some pictures walked around what else did i do yeah 
I went to this restaurant. Yeah, had lunch. Then around 5 p.m., I went to the airport. Because the airport is so far. I went to the airport that is very far from the city center. So it was like an hour plus the traffic that was happening on the road. So I had to... Beijing is a very is a Beijing is a very very busy city, so I had to leave early because I don't want to miss my flight. So yeah, I went to the airport around five p.m. Got there at six thirty or forty p.m. and my flight took off at eight thirty. So why is my voice, guys? Just don't mind me. My voice. I just woke up right now, and my voice always feels. It's always shit every damn time when I wake up. <coughs> so, yeah, um, I slept the whole time because I was feeling sleepy. And when I got back, I was so sleepy. I managed to take my shower and went straight to bed. But, yeah, I had to, like, you know, close this vlog and tell you guys that I'm back. I'm back, guys. Everything went so well. And I'm so thankful for it. Like, everything went so well. So yeah, that's all for this video. It's a very... I think this vlog is going to be like a short one. Because I didn't vlog much. I Most of the time, I forgot to vlog. So I'm so sorry, guys. I just hope you enjoy the video. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Comment. Comment your favorite parts. Subscribe if you're new here. Turn on your notification button to get notified every time I post. You know, let's 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 be besties, okay guys? It's all positive here. I'm trying my best to, you know, stay stay consistent. See you guys in my next video and bye.